there's a couple quick things to know about these uh, Cummins and Duramax common rail and Bosch injectors. Um, you can test the solenoid with a ohm meter. Sometimes that's a problem. Not usually, but it's good to test all your solenoids because if it is just a solenoid, uh, you can unscrew it right here and replace just a solenoid and be done with uh, your injector replacement. But so one of the things is your tip. If you want to know what kind of nozzles on here, there's numbers on there. But you can't see it because of the carbon. So what what you're supposed to do is have a sonic cleaner. And you can put the injector tip into a sonic cleaner and it'll clean off all that shit and you can read the numbers. Most of the time, if you try to you know, use anything abrasive on the tip, it'll rub the numbers off. Uh, if you have a magnifying glass, though, you can look right at the tip of it and count how many holes are in it. Um, you can see with this injector, this um, it has a... This is an O3 injector. You can tell because it has a sharper tip, which means the spray pattern is tighter. Now on the 04 and a half to 07 59 common rail Cummins, they changed the piston, which they changed to this kind of piston. So it's a lot, the bowl is bigger, so the spray pattern is wider. The injector is the same thing. You can take this tip off and just change out the nozzle and you can use 03 to 07 injectors are all the same pretty much, basically. I mean, they, they change some stuff on the insides of them and whatnot, but they still all suck ass and they're all junk. Uh, need replaced a lot because of the low sulfur diesel does not uh, give them enough lubrication. You need to always be putting like Lucas fuel additive or a quarter two stroke oil every tank, something like that will prolong the life of your injectors because they actually get lubed. There's all the parts inside of this thing are so tiny. I mean, it has like little check balls that if you drop that thing, it's gone. You better make sure you got a real clean area to take one of these apart. And the most common problem that I've seen with the injectors is over-returning. When these over-return, which is uh, because that check ball doesn't seat good anymore, so it returns too much fuel. If it returns too much fuel, your fuel pump cannot build enough pressure when you're going to start it. So that means if, if you can spray starting fluid and your truck fires up and runs fine, that means you got too much return flow on one, two, maybe a bunch of injectors. Yeah, the truck has to build 4,000 PSI for it to start. Uh, if you can watch with a pressure gauge or a scan tool while you're trying to start and you're getting a no start, you'll probably be getting around 600 PSI. And uh, that means at least one of your inje injectors is returning too much. But at that point, I've tried to replace one injector at a time. And as soon as you replace one injector, the next one goes bad. I mean, sometimes the same day. It's just pointless. You just have to do them all at the same time. You can't, you can't get away with doing one injector at a time. It's it's a waste of your time and it's a waste of money. So save your money, buy them all. If you got two hundred something thousand miles on your truck, 
or you're getting anywhere near 200,000 miles on your truck, start saving your money or go buy them. Go buy these injectors ahead of time. Go get, go get some new ones and put them in there. If you don't, then you're going to end up with uh, an engine rebuild and cylinder that looks like that. And let's see here. Oh, and a piston that looks like this. Melted. That's an, over, that's an overflow injector. Flowing non-stop, basically. The fuel is supposed to be timed. And it's supposed to spray in there at the right moment. That's how diesels run. They don't have spark plugs like a car. It's timed fueling. So, when you get one of these overfueling that are bad, they're just sitting there dripping the whole time. Dripping. And it puts, it makes so much heat that it melts the piston, it busts rings, it, it just ruins your motor. So, they, they, can, they can't handle it, especially the 04 and a half to 07 pistons cannot handle that. The 03 to 04 and a half had better pistons. They can handle some. Now, if, if you get a real bad injector and you got injector knock, that's where your truck won't even run. You just got to shut it off and tow it home. That's when you got a, a stuck pintle in the injector where it's just wide open flowing. Um... I don't know what else I'm forgetting here. And that's that hole right there is where your crossover tube goes in. So that you're sealing metal to metal. There's no O ring, nothing like that that keeps that pressure right there. That's metal to metal. You have to make sure that that is perfectly straight before you torque that. You want it perfect so it can get the best seal possible. There's a technique to installing injectors and it has to be done right, everyone. Your little hole right here, that's the return hole. So that's where your, your return goes out the back of the head through this section. So every injector has that hole and it goes through the center of the head and comes out the rear of the head goes back to the fuel tank. That's when you get the no start conditions right there. If you want to figure out which injector is um, returning too much, you start taking fuel lines off, off of the fuel rail. You take the fuel lines off and you block off one at a time. They sell a block off tool. I'll make my own real quick. How to stuff, uh, usually I'll use an old fuel line or something, right? But see, I could take, I could take a fuel line like this and put a bolt in the end of that and then use that for my block off tool instead of paying $30 for one and ordering it and waiting for it. Auto parts stores never have them. There's your rail right so if you want to figure out which one is returning too much fuel you just start you start with number uh, one or six doesn't matter doesn't matter where you start I mean you could start in the wrong place no matter where you start you might end up starting at one and it being number six being the last one you do so just start wherever you want but you pull it, pull off your fuel line and block off, block it off, right? Use your little block off line or your block off tool. Block it off, try to start it. See if it, start, if it starts and you know it's that one. If it don't start, put the line back on, move on to the next one. Do the same thing, just keep going until it starts. Once it starts, then you know. That was it. Uh, I mean... I always do it with a scan tool anyway on top of that so I can watch the fuel pressure while I'm cranking to see if it gained how much 
it gained me. I mean, normally on no starts, I usually end up with 600 is what the scantle is usually reading while it's cranking. But sometimes you can, I mean, you can replace, you can block off one and it'll give you maybe 1500. It'll get you close, closer, but not enough that it's going to start. But that just tells you you got another one that's partially bad, pretty bad. I mean, it's hard to try and get away with doing one injector at a time. But, yeah. Poor people got poor ways. That's why I'm a mechanic. You know, I did the same shit. I replaced one injector at a time with used injectors I had laying around or whatever. Whatever I had to do to get get by, get to work the next day. So, uh, all that stuff should help you out. Hopefully, I'm not a professional YouTube video maker. I don't make very many, so. I'm usually working, don't expect any you know, professional grade videos out of me, but I'll give you some helpful advice. Thanks.